Hi Taurus and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of July. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. We're going to take a look at, I'm going to just put these right here. We're going to take a look at the cards for awareness, guidance, and possible outcomes. And I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information and messages. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have, let me put these here, hold on. We have the Nine of Cups, we have the King of Cups, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. So as far as spreads go and as far as days go, this is really nice energy to start with. With the Nine of Cups, this is a card of, uh, of enjoying what you have. There's a sense of feeling content with where you are in life. And you can see he's sitting, this person here is sitting here on his chair. He is surrounded by his full cups and he looks rather pleased with himself. And so uh, perhaps he's worked hard to get to this place of comfort of having what he wants or desires or needs. With the Nine of Cups, you know, there is a sense here to be mindful that uh, in life you just don't pursue the material rewards, that you also have to pay attention to the spirit and to take care, take care of your emotional self as well. So the Nine of Cups is a card of, of he feels fulfilled and feels content and is uh, kind of showing off his uh, his full cups and as many of us know the nine of cups is a wish card to make a wish and the wish more than likely will be granted so it's a wonderful way to start sunday we also have the king of cups and the King of Cups with this water sign, the, the emotional presence of this king is important because he's a master of being sensitive, of being kind, generous, aware, empathetic to others. This is making decisions that are fair and real and that more than likely benefit all. And he is someone who knows and has the experience to be able to be appropriate with emotions, not too much, not too little. And so is someone with a good heart. And so whether you are hanging out with someone like that, or maybe these are qualities that you're sharing with someone else, uh, the King of Cups is simply a lovely court card to see. And for those that are interested in dating or in the dating game you may be encountering someone who is romantic who is sensitive thoughtful and uh, emotionally available and between the nine of cups here the king of cups and then the ace of pentacles the ace of pentacles as we know Aces are gifts or blessings from the universe. And here's the hand holding out this huge pentacle to you, saying, here, take it. It's yours. You're going to be earning this. And it's not being given to you. It's an opportunity. And so if you use the suit strengths, which is common sense, planning, being practical, being grounded in your thinking, in your approach. If you nurture and take care of your ideas and uh, the seeds that you want to bring to real life or fruition, then the door to prosperity is going to be yours. And the prosperity not only includes uh, abundance in a material sense or res resource sense, it's your spiritual self as well. It's happiness. It's 
good health. It's good relationships. It's the prospect of good fortune to build uh, a firm foundation, security. The Ace of Pentacles on a more literal level could be, hey, someone's going to pay you back, an unexpected windfall. Someone's going to give you a gift. Someone's going to, um, you know, uh, you're going to get a rebate in the mail. And frankly, you could even get a nice discount at the store. There's some uh, unexpected benefit to your resources, to your money, to your time. So with the Nine of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles, it's a plenty of, of abundance is a plenty and good feelings, happiness, sensitivity and awareness with the King of Cups, such loving energy. So let's take a look at the numerology. We have nine, 10, and 11. And 11 again is the master, it's a master number. It's the master number of service, of being of service to others, of being generous with your time, of being giving, being aware and sensitive. Offering to help looks can look uh, very different to many different people. So it's what works best for you and how you can help someone else. And whether that's a phone call, whether it's a visit with an old friend or uh, you know, taking care of a grandparent. There are many ways to be of service in addition to just writing a check. Or, you know, it's, it's time, it's energy. It's the desire to help. It's the desire to be loving and to be aware. So now I'm going to choose an additional card, an oracle for a little more information. The great gathering, it's all coming together. Uh, intuitive hints, I think that says, soul tribe. Intuitive hits, huh, interesting. It's all coming together. So in the scheme or in the plan or in the design of your life, when you are present with your emotions, when you are doing the things behind the scenes to build your successes, when you're practical and grounded, as the Ace of Pentacles would like us to be, and we nurture and we feed our plans, then you are on a path to abundance. You're on a path to having everything come together. So a powerful reading today. And uh, I hope that you found something helpful here with it. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. And on Sundays, I post my weekly readings by Zodiac Signs. So I hope that you'll take a moment to check out your sign and your reading. I would greatly appreciate it. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.